How's it going everyone? Welcome back to yet another weekly warehouse update. Before we get into some of the awesome discs I'm about to show you because, uh, spoiler alert, gosh there's a lot hitting the site today. I just want to remind you if you're anywhere close to the Lynchburg area next Friday, a week from today, April 12th, is the grand opening of our new Lynchburg storefront location. So we're moving right up the road. We'll be closed all next week if you live local and 12 p.m. You can actually head over to the site right now and reserve a spot in the Bogey Bros vs. The Nation event. So be a part of a foundation video. Take on Trevor and I. Uh, it's going to be an absolute blast. You can find more information over there, but that'll be happening at 12. And the grand opening happens at 5 p.m. Eastern time, um, obviously in Lynchburg. And the uh, entire store is going to be on sale. We have some exclusive merch. I'm actually rocking one of the hats that's going to be dropping over there. Um, we have some exclusive merch. We have some Foundation Lynchburg stamp discs for the first time ever, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're anywhere close to the area, you're definitely going to be there because also the first 100 people actually get a free commemorative Brixton card of the first Foundation location ever. So you're not going to miss all of that. But let's get into stuff that you can take care of right now which is the Discraft Tour Series. So the pre-orders are being sent out, or should already have been sent out, I believe. And then we have the leftover of it hitting the site. So we got some Brody Smith Zone OS's right now, Z Flex Jawbreaker Swirl. Um, there's not a bad looking disc out of the entire bunch I'm about to show you, but we're just gonna show you one from each mold because I could say we could spend an hour just going through all these discs. Uh, next down the line, we've got, it's always a Paige Pierce Passion. Look at that thing gorgeous and people are asking about the flex it's nice and gummy but the rims are stiff enough that like you're not going to feel it and think wow that's really soft like your your fingers are able to dig in but it's uh it's definitely softer than typical z but it's nothing crazy um those are more passions next down the line what we got over here some ezra Aderhold hold nukes these things are i mean it looks like an art like an artist painted this and i'm just like i'm just grabbing from the middle here a little aaron gossage raptor there Gorgeous. Some of these, funny enough, actually are stamped with the Captain's Raptor numbers. I don't know if this is one of them. I think it is, 9314. They might all be stamped with that. Yeah, they might all be. So, uh, fun little Easter egg for you there. Next down the line, we've got some Coriolis Forces here. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. We only have a few of these. That's why they're sitting on the table right here, because there's literally barely any left, which is the Valley Mandahano Scorch. Moving over to this table over here. You'll find even more pieces of art. We've got some Chris Dickerson buzzes. Trevor was just saying that these fly just like the 20 year ones that uh, was just released earlier. I mean, like I said, look at these things. Absolutely crazy. So if you want this exact one, this is a Z Flex Jawbreaker 12, 173, 174. If you want to pick up this exact one over on the site. Um, and down the line a little bit more, we've got the Adam Hammes zone here. Gorgeous. And then the greatest player on the face of the earth currently, Anthony Barella, his Venom is available right here. And I think we might actually be sold out of these, but I'll show you in case we're not, which is the Missy Gannon Thrasher. I think I hit them all. Um, you can head over to the site right now and pick your exact one because uh, like I said, there's just pieces of art. But let's show you some of the other cool stuff hitting the site. All right, over here at the drop shelf, got to mention a few things here. First of all, yesterday, the CD1, the S-Line CD1, that is, from just Mania dropped. This is a nice nine speed of a little bit of a faster fairway driver, pretty straight fairway driver. If you're looking for something that's like, I would actually compare these. They do flip up a decent bit. I'd compare it to like a longer FD, if that's what you're looking for. Um, something that goes a little bit further, got a little bit of a wider rim. Uh, this is a great option, just came out in S line. We have a few of those left. So if you wanna try one of those, you should check it out. Now, some things that are dropping today, very exciting. Um, we've got, we're actually, I believe these ones are already up. You got the, uh, the Royal Hope and the Royal Strive. So the Hope is a putter that they've had out already, but never in this premium plastic. We've got a bunch of colors and it looks just amazing. I mean, if you have not thrown Royal plastic, it, it's probably my favorite plastic that exists. Uh, this putter is a really, I used to actually putt with these. They're really, really straight. And so as throwers, they're gonna be awesome because they're just gonna go dead straight, I'm imagining. And uh, they feel great in the hand as well. A nice, comfortable beadless putter. So we've got those. And then the Strive is brand new. This is a brand new disc. Once again, we have this in a bunch of colors as well. Uh, looks incredible as Royal Plastic always does. And super comfortable in the hand, 13 speed, but doesn't feel super wide. It almost feels more like a 12. Um, they're claiming it's a 13 speed. Uh, they're giving it a negative one three, but I think they're trying to say that this is um, like the Rive, but goes a little bit straighter and a little bit further. Cause I think when they came out with the Rive, which is one of their first drivers they did in this Royal line here, um, 
I think it was a little more overstable than they thought. It's a great disc, but it is pretty overstable. So I think this is meant to be a little bit straighter and go a little bit further. So make sure to check this one out. This one has a lot of hype behind it. Um, they're claiming a lot of like new technology on this disc as well and like the feel of the rim. And it is a comfortable disc in the hand. Um, so yeah, make sure to check those out. And then something else that's really, really cool. This is the Tone Salt from Clash. Okay, this is dropping at five today. Now, something you'll notice about this disc is it looks pretty ordinary until you flip it over. And all of a sudden there is a different part to the rim. So this is like a new kind of molding. As you can see on the inside of the rim there, it's like just this one sliver that kind of goes into the rim. So it's not over mold, it's almost an under mold. And something that's very cool about that is they've actually created like a little embossing there so you can see a Clash Disc logo that's underneath the rim. Like you can't feel that there. It just kind of shines through. It's, it's a little more evident on some of the lighter colors as well. Like you can see it there's Clash Disc. And I actually think there was a couple um, they were coming out with. I don't know if we have any in stock right now that like had it in different colors, but we've got a bunch of different colors with this. Some of them actually have some like sparkle in them. And um, this is basically meant to be like the, the salt from Clash, but um, yeah, these things bomb. They, and I've thrown a couple of them right out of the box. You can throw huge S shots or like hyzer flips with them and they go super, super, super far. They're really comfortable. And I just think this, this like plastic concept is really awesome. They've been really popular. And honestly, one of the things that drew me to it the most is I just thought that this thing was so cool. The fact that you can see the clash through there, nobody's done that. And I think it is incredible to look at. It's a really fun disc to throw. And um, yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely check these out. Yeah, these are salts. It's the tone like variant of the salt. Um, but yeah, they bomb. They're awesome. Definitely check these out. So these are dropping at five. Those other three discs I mentioned are already live on the site if you're watching this before then. All right, now over here we have some exciting releases from MVP hitting the site today. Um, perfect weekend because it's all in Eclipse plastic. And obviously Monday, is the Eclipse. So we've got, uh, first off, a special edition Eclipse Crave. They've teased these a few different times. They've released Eclipse Craves a few different times, and every time they are huge hits. So they have a special edition one, but then what people are getting really excited about is they have released the stock Eclipse Crave. So if you love the Crave, you want a little bit more overstable version, or you love playing Glow Golf, that's what the Eclipse Plastic's for. So you can either get the special edition or the uh, stock one. Then they have the brand new pitch in total eclipse plastic. So this is actually still gyro, it just doesn't look like it. So it has the outer rim and the inner rim, but both will glow. And what's really unique about this, um, actually, let me just show you over here. All right, so we've made our way into the dark room over here. A lot of light still spilling in so that we can see what we're about to do, but five different eclipse pitches that all glow different colors. So this one here is the blue. Next up we have, I believe they call it white, but basically mainly just the rim glows here and the center glows, well, white, you can see that. It almost looks like it has like a LED backlit there. Next down the line we have kind of like a, I don't actually know what this is called, but it's kind of like tealish. It's like blue and green mixed is what this one is. Down here we have the purple up next. So we'll hit that, you can see it glow in purple there. And last but not least, your classic green glow. So you're actually gonna be able to go on the site and shop each of these different glow colors there. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this week's weekly warehouse update. Head over to the site, foundationdisc.com, find all of this and more. Like I said, really exciting week in the warehouse if you ask me. And don't forget, if you're anywhere close to the Lynchburg area, next Friday, April 12th, we have the Bogey Bros vs. Nation event and the grand opening of the new storefront location. We're super excited about this new space. It's bigger than the current one we're in. A lot of fun stuff we can do in there, so you don't wanna miss out, and we'll see you again next week.